Mr. R wanted us to learn, and I, Alyssa, and I, Marjorie, from his sixth period chemistry, have learned to an A. What about you? A. There you go. <laughs> level the following concepts, chapter 12 through 14 of our chemistry book. This is not an inclusive list, but my selection of concepts from each chapter that I will remember. So, um, what I learned from chapter 12, stoichiometry, was that a chemical equation can be interpreted in a lot of ways, like the moles, the mass, and the volume, and other ways, too. Uh, we began this uh, grading period with stoichiometry, which was interesting to say the least, but you gotta look at balanced chemical equations, like a recipe, also like a cookie recipe, so when you're making your chocolate chip cookies, because those are really good. Um, for chapter 13, states of matter, I learned about a triple point, which is when three states of, you know, liquid, of, of a substance tend to exist at the same time. I found that really, really cool. After that, uh, we moved to the nature of gases, and which compared to stoichiometry was a walk in the park. I learned about sublimation, which occurs in solids with vapor pressures that exceed atmospheric pressure at about room temperature. And I learned that the space in between gas particles is, a, is what like makes them be, like what makes them compressible. Um, let's see, is that chapter 14 that you just did? Yeah. Okay, that was chapter 14. And then um, I learned about Boyle's Law, Charles' Law, and Gay Lussac's Law, which Boyle's Law is like a bicycle tire, uh, Charles' Law is like the balloon, and then Gay Lussac's Law is like the can of beans that goes poof in the fire. So Albert Einstein once said that all of science is nothing more than the refinement of everyday thinking, and this couldn't be more true, especially in chemistry. This grading period, we look close at everyday life with the help of a great teacher, Mr. Rasmussen. Anything to add, Alyssa? God bless America. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it for him.